How's everybody doing? Good. Um, so something that's new with me this year. Um, this year I'm just getting out of a common law marriage. Um, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so um, the HR person at work the other day came up to me and she was like, hey, Kristen, just so you know, your ex is still your beneficiary on your life insurance. And I was like, oh, that's not good. And she's like, yeah, you gotta change it. And I was like, hey, it's gonna be the squirrel that lives on my fire escape. <laughs> Squirrels are opportunistic omnivores, so when he finds my corpse, I'll get eaten a little bit. <laughs> it's nice to be touched. Um, <laughs> so that being said, <laughs> That being said, I am on Tinder. Is anyone else here in this room on Tinder? Yeah, yeah just a couple, that's surprising. Um, but you know, for us, like two people in the room, we can just agree that Tinder's a hellscape, you know? Why does everybody have like a photo where they're like, oh, I'm holding a fish corpse. Do you think I'm gonna be like, oh, a provider. <laughs> into that, into that. And I see a lot of biographies that say, here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> then you go out with them, and you're like, that wasn't good or long. <laughs> Super disappointing. Um, I had a Tinder date a couple weeks back, and I thought that it was gonna go like, kinda well. So I bought stuff to make like breakfast in my place, like they do like in the romance movies, you know? Um, but he didn't stay over. And I was like, that's okay. So I texted a bunch of my friends. I was like, hey, do you wanna come over? I'll make you omelets. They're all just like, no. And then he's like, oh, nobody wants my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> You're biologically self-conscious about that. You know? Oh, God. Ugh, ugh. Anyways, I, um, I was seeing somebody over the summer who I met not on Tinder. We met the old fashioned way in a bar. Um, and I think that through that experience, I learned that I have a magical vagina. <laughs> Hear me out, okay? Every time I would fuck him, he'd do my dishes. <laughs> that's Pavlovian, that's a learned behavior. <laughs> now, and he'd be like, you know, this doesn't really mean anything. And then I'd fuck him and he's like, oh, I got you a toaster. <laughs> Then, you know, he'd be like, whatever, this is casual. Then we'd do sex to each other, and he'd hang all the art in my apartment. It was beautiful. Um, so the last time he was at my place, he was, like, on his second round of doing my dishes. And he was like, I don't really see this going anywhere. I didn't really want to cry about it, so I just held my dish soap at him, and he started to drool. <laughs> Couple psych majors in the room. I like it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Cool, um, who in this room has a job? <laughs> nice, nice. Is anybody in this room the youngest person at their job? Yeah, yeah a couple people, that's exciting. I'm the youngest person at my job, so I get like kind of all the technological shit across my desk. You know, like I get all the stuff that befuddles the baby boomers. Um, so there's this woman that I work with named Donna, and she's like, she'll email me and she'll mark it as urgent. She'll be like, Kristen, I need you to download Facebook onto a USB. <laughs> And also the website won't print. And I'm like, that's not how that works, Donna, but okay, whatever. And then the other week she came back at me with a real swinger. She was like, Kristen, I need you to mail something. And I was like, I don't know how the fuck to do that. So I just didn't mail it. It's a really official form. Please don't tell my boss. Anyway, so like, Speaking of old people and technology, um, is there anyone here who has like a grandparent on Facebook? No, it's such, oh, a couple people, yay! Look at us go! Such a unique situation to be in. So my grandparents are on Facebook. And they, I love them because they just comment on all my stuff. Like I'll post like something I think is funny and they're like, did you drink all of our wine? <laughs> then I'll post like a selfie and they're like, why did you leave Matt? He made such good money. <laughs> Yeah, and then um, I posted like an environmental article and um, they were like, Kristen, why did you vote NDP? <laughs> Just gotta teach them how to slide into the DMs. We're not there yet, but you know, maybe soon. Anyways, so um, on Facebook, like we see lots of environmental articles. Does anyone here care about the environment? Yeah, I do too, because I'm a person who breathes. Um, so I was like doing some thinking the other day in my brain. I had an idea, and I think that climate change is a little bit like syphilis. Because like, let's say in 1970, a couple doctors were like, hey man, I think you might have syphilis. 
because you should have wrapped it before you tapped the Industrial Revolution. Um, but you didn't, and then you fucked everybody, and now we all have syphilis. And you're like, no, I think it's gonna be fine. I think that syphilis is a myth. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything about this. And then the doctor's like, time goes on, and the doctors are like, okay, dude, like your hair's falling out, you have this crazy rash, so you for sure have syphilis. They're like, no, hair grows in cycles. <laughs> and all the doctors, honestly, then the doctor, this is like in 1990, I didn't make this up, okay? The doctor is just like, okay, boomer. <laughs> Anyways, um, so another thing about being the youngest person in my office is um, people think I'm really stupid with money. So I was talking and I was like, yeah, I like, went shopping this weekend, I bought some bras, I spent like $200. They're like, what, that's so much money to spend on bras. Like, what, why did you do that? And I was like, you don't understand, okay? I have medically large breasts. <laughs> like my breasts are like two 10 pound bags of yogurt. You know, like I can't, can't go to Victoria's Secret. I outgrew her secrets when I was 18, you know? Like my, those bras are like little joggers. They're like, I love to tone up. You know, look how perky, <laughs> look how sweet. My boobs are like Olympic heavy lifting champions, you know, like they're just like. <sighs> and then they say like that until midnight when I take off my bra finally. <laughs> my name's Kristen Anderson, thank you. A big headliner show debut for Kristen, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Oh, now.